Hello, everyone, and welcome to a Friday, a weekend edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast. Dan Lobby with Mary Kay Cabot. We're going to do a Hey Mary Kay edition of the podcast uh, coming out of Brown's mandatory mini camp. Our football insiders uh, came through with questions for us, as they always do. If you want to get involved in football, insider go to cleveland.com slash browns the blue banner at the top of the page to get info and get signed up for that mary Kay, let's start here this comes from brian in delaware ohio hey mary Kay, can a team with so many new faces develop enough chemistry timing and cohesiveness in one off season to seriously compete for a super bowl with teams like kansas city who have been on the same page for years Yes, it can happen, but everything has to go right. The play calling has to be right. Uh, The schemes have to be right for the players. You have to have some good luck. You have to have health. It is possible because once you get into the tournament, anything can happen in that particular game. So the whole key is uh, to try to go out there and win your division if you can. If not, uh, grab that wild card spot. And of course, there are three of them now. Uh, and just get into the tournament. And if you can get into the playoffs, then anything can happen. So, yes, it's possible. It will not be easy. They do have to, um, you know, they do have to gel. They do have to have cohesiveness as a team. They do have to have camaraderie as a football team. Uh, but I definitely think it's possible. Yeah, and I think we've seen some teams do it to varying degrees. Um, it, you know, that like Philadelphia kind of came together. You know, they brought in A.J. Brown and, and Jalen Hurts as their starting quarterback full time last year, and they made it to the Super Bowl. They, you know, there was obviously some pre existing, there, there were pre existing things there. Um, you know, Tampa, when they brought in Tom Brady, um, you know, teams, teams can do it in the NFL because it's a one and done playoff system. And like you said, seven teams get in now. So really you can use the first few months of the season to kind of do that gelling. And as long as you're sort of within shouting distance around Thanksgiving, you still have a chance. Yeah, I mean, it can come together quickly, especially if you have sort of simplified schemes. And I do think that Jim Schwartz is installing a defense that is going to be easy for these guys to grasp and pick up. The commands are simple. And if they just do what they're asked to do, uh, they should be able to play some really good defense early on. Uh, I, I don't think they're going to have as many uh, you know, issues as they had last year with blown coverages, missed tackles and things like that. I think that um, you know, in their own kind of way, some of these guys this week were really kind of trying to say, you know, we don't have to think as much now. We can just you know, play some fast football and we can react and we can do the things that we do well. So on the defensive side of the ball, I definitely think that, uh, that they will be ahead of the game that way. On the offensive side of the ball, they're putting more into the hands of Deshaun Watson. And I think that's good because what we're talking about here, when you're talking about a team kind of all coming together and making it to the playoffs or the Super Bowl, a lot of that falls on the quarterback and they've got the quarterback to be able to do it. And it's not like he's brand new. He was at least around last year for much of the season. He was around for training camp. He was around for the offseason program and for the final six games of the season. So he's not starting from scratch. Uh, He just has to build on what he learned last year. And they, you know, they overhauled everything. They gave him better weapons. So I think that uh, he should be okay. I think that he's ready for this kind of responsibility. And, you know, it's not like this team is completely new. Um, You know, I mean, the offensive line has been together for a while now. Even even Ethan Posich has been the starting center for a full season. Your your secondary, Denzel Ward, Greg Newsome, Grant Delpit, those guys have all been together for a little while. Um, You know, there's there's areas of this team, even like Donovan Peoples-Jones and Amari Cooper have been together you know, now for a season, Nick Chubb has been here forever with this offensive line. So there are, there are elements of this team that have been together for a while. And obviously the systems are a little new Uh, there. There are some very important players now who are also new, but look, this team has run it back before and it hasn't worked. So (laughs) there, there's just no guarantee. There's no like surefire formula as to how this goes. No, I mean, look at the Rams, you know, they added Matt Stafford and then late in that uh, season, they added Odell Beckham Jr. And, you know, they they went to the Super Bowl and won it that year. So um, so anything can happen when you put new faces and a new team and new schemes together, providing you've got the talent. And the Browns certainly have the talent now to get the job done. 
again, some of it's going to fall on Deshaun Watson and how well he plays. A lot of it will fall on that. Uh, but when you also have tough lines, when you're building tough on the offensive and defensive lines, that's going to count for a lot. You can disrupt the other quarterback. You can protect your own. And uh, that goes a long way. Okay, this question comes.